Hi, Marcy. Hi. Model Rocket 3, 2, and 1, right? Yes, definitely. Right. Let's do it. All right, guys, next up we got the Metrics. This is a mini engine rocket going to be flying on 13 millimeter Estes. I think I have an a 10 t in there. Streamer recovery. A little minimum diameter rocket. Should go pretty high. Streamer. I only have, you know, a little bit of a recovery wadding in there because I want to make sure this streamer comes out. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. We got the Metrics going on the mini engine. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Well, that went really high. Tracking and we have streamer coming down right here, pretty much back at the pad, nice. You can see that reflecting streamer, that's cool. That's what a streamer is supposed to do. So the metrics, can't even see the body of the rocket. All you can see pretty much is the streamer. I'm drifting over this way, start walking. Start walking, start walking. Look at that streamer do its job. The rocket is kind of like sideways and the streamer is just holding him up. And he's going to touch down the rec center right there. That was nice. If I just stay walking. Yeah, the reflective stuff is really good. Um, mylar parachutes, mylar, you know, streamers, stuff like that. Really good. You can see them. They hit that sun. Even like silver rockets. Um, anything like that is pretty good in this hobby. So that was pretty cool. I just saw an igniter plug. I didn't want to stop and pick it up. It was a yellow one. <laughs> so I'm going to turn around and walk this same way back and see if I can find it. So people do launch in this field, apparently. This is another one of those nice recreation fields where you can do your thing. Out of Rocks 321. Hit that subscribe button, guys, as I recover the metrics. All right, as you can see, we're approaching the metrics just recovered. Pretty high flight, so that was that will be recorded. So yeah, pretty good. Went up there pretty high. So pretty nice. Hi. Pretty nice flight of the metrics. Recovered well. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. My Rock321 guys, subscribe to this channel and we will see you on another one. Alright, next up guys, we got the Jupiter C going on a C63. It's one of my favorites right now. Haven't flown this one in a while. So we're going to send this guy up on a C63. Smaller parachute because we got some breeze. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Nice slow lift off. Look at that. That was nice. And we got parachute. Small parachute drifting down. Heading over this way. That was a nice slow lift off. Nice action on that. This is a smaller shoot, so he's coming down a little faster. On the grass though, should survive that. And here we go, touching down. Nice, the Jupiter C just touched down. That was textbook perfect. I will get all the scale points <laughs> if the fins are still in order and nothing is broken. Very nice, I will take that any day of the week. That was a great flight. Model Rock 321 guys, Model Rock 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel that is the last flight of the day. Let's check these fins for you. On camera, fin check. Good there, good. Everything is good, solid, nice slow lift off. Small parachute to reduce that drift because I got a feeling I would have been further over there. So that was a good judgment call, good call, good flight, good day. Model Rock 321, each and every single day in every way. That's how we play. Subscribe to the channel. Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV coated finish. These collectibles are a must have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12 card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out. Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, guys, my Rocks 321. Be sure to stay tuned for the debriefing coming up on the flight you just saw. 
check the links below subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and watch this video that's coming up um check the website check my website go there some stuff in the store right now you can purchase and support the channel any way you can spy rocks 321 bringing you flights rockets tips tricks everything let's go so welcome to the debriefing it is debriefing time you just saw three nice flights everything was went to perfection today it was a pretty nice day of flying started the day off with the terraformer again you're seeing a lot of terraformer action i really like this um simple little rocket i mean it's a simple it's a nice design simple design i kind of decked it out with all kinds like some skunk works here a little nasa there a little collaboration effort it goes up turns over no ejection got the char falling out of there and it gives this nice spin as it comes on down to the ground for like a nice tumble recovery. So we flew that first. Went great. Perfect. Can't really get nothing. Nothing can really go wrong with these. I mean, straight up, straight down. But really nice altitude and really loud on a D12 zero motor. So I also have an E12. I'm going to try it on an E12 one of these days. That's coming soon. Um, after it had a Kato a while ago, I got that all fixed up to the best of my abilities. Um... But now it's like one of my nice flyers, nice park flyer, simple and easy. Ain't got to worry about no drifting away, landing a tree or nothing in these parts. So it went pretty good. This is just some trash. I'm going to get out of the way. So next up, after the uh, Terraformer, I flew to Metrics. This is a rocket here I had for a good while. Um, didn't really have a chance to bring it out too much. As you hear, the, the lawnmower is getting started up. So here is the Metrics, um, 13 millimeter, A104T. Nice flight, nice flying rocket that gave, it gave its nice streamer recovery action. Very skinny, 13 millimeter body tube, easy, easy stuff to do. The mini engines, cheap to fly. Didn't it recovered? Well, it actually recovered kind of far away from me, but the streamer brought it down back in the field. You know, it didn't drift. I didn't worry about it drifting off, but it gave it nice, a nice flight. Nice flight. Got this nice silver and black paint scheme, metrics right there. So. That was that flight. Very good. And last but not least was my favorite and definitely one of my favorite rockets is the Jupiter C. But I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you guys something before we get to that. I have this right here. I went to Kennedy Space Center years ago and this was, I received this. It says, the attached fragment of a metal, it says, a, <clears throat> the attached fragment of metal is a piece of the gantry at Launch, Launch Complex 26 in which the Explorer 1 satellite and its booster were prepared to launch. This little piece right here is from the gantry. And you can see the uh, Explorer 1 on top and the Jupiter C rocket right there. Souvenir of, of America's first satellite launch. So that's this vehicle right here. This is the relation right here. And I also have my, the art card, the uh, face card from the um, Estes kit. Yep. Put that back there. Yeah, so this is a skill level four, um, skill level four rocket. They have C53 engines. But the C63 gave this nice slow lift off. Um, it was pretty cool. Very nice flying rocket. Let me get this engine out of here. You know, when I was flying in the desert, um, I had one of these little. These are, I guess they're these are kind of I forget what they're called, but these control direction, like kind of like guidance controls, actuators or whatever. But one of these had broke off. That was the only break ever on this rocket. This, these fins are really beefed up. Um, I did my glued rivets, I glued, glued, put holes in the body, and then I just set the fins down on there using the epoxy. So they are on and they are bulletproof. And I even went with a smaller parachute because I had a breeze today, so I didn't want to risk losing it. So I have a small, um, probably like a 10 or 12 inch nylon. line. It still came down, had a decent amount of speed, but it landed around its fins, you know, no issue at all, like around that grass. Grass is definitely a lot better than landing on some of the hard, hard dirt in the desert I was flying in. I would break fins often so but i would still fly there that was still a great flying field and here one thing i noticed with my launch is that to be a little more calculator where i set up at really have to pay attention to the uh, breeze direction because um you know it really matters now like when i was flying in the desert i could just go set up anywhere and i'm pretty much going to recover you know so out here i have to really pay attention a lot more houses the fields are big but there's some trees houses some streets so i have to uh just check things out a little bit different when flying in these parks um but it was a great day great great day of flying um this is definitely one of my favorite i want to get my mercury redstone built because it's similar very similar um rocket maybe even be the same dimensions and everything but can't wait to get that flying but that c63 gave it that nice slow lift off that was nice the c53 it leaps off the pad more i noticed but the c63 was a slightly slower lift off which is um very good and this is a very old one on this is a 
kit number 1976, kit number 1976. So very cool. Very nice day of flying. I hope you guys enjoyed these flights. Support the channel any way you can. There is a cash app down there. There is the store. There's SD's code. Use the code. If you're new to this hobby and you want to get a discount, IN underscore three two yeah, IN underscore three two one at SD'sRockets.com. You can find all that information below in the description. So but just enjoying the hobby. This is it was good to fly this scale. I'm really happy about this um this flight, this rocket. Really, really like the Jupiter C. Really like it. So, Smile Rocks 321, guys. Thanks for uh, being a supporter. Thanks for uh, following the hobby. And we'll be back with more. Smile Rocks 321.